Hi, I'm Kaya Scudelario, and I'm getting up close with Cosmo UK. I mean, he's just such a lovely, lovely human being. Um, and, you know, that kind of should be the standard uh, at work. And usually it's not, unfortunately. And it was just such a breath of fresh air to get to work with someone who was just really generous and funny and interesting and kind. Um, for me personally, uh, he's also half Brazilian, as I am. And I've never kind of got to have that experience with another actor. And so it was just really wonderful to get to speak in Portuguese all day, every day and, and kind of share a unique bond with someone and the experience of growing up in Britain um, with a Brazilian mother and kind of, you know, the identity search that comes with that and the kind of cultural differences between you and your schoolmates and, and all those things. To just have someone that kind of understood that journey was really quite special. It was weird the first day I met him instantly. He was just so friendly and warm and open and we just got on really, really well, really quickly, um, which is a relief, obviously, because we shot a lot of scenes together. Um, and then also just being on such a nice set. I and mean, we had an incredible director, Chris Vaughan, who is just the kindest director I've ever worked with, really respected all of his crew, had no ego, um, and we're shooting a Christmas movie. So everyone was just sort of in a good mood the entire time. It was like a really pleasant place to go to work every day. Um, and that kind of just helped us all bond because we were just enjoying ourselves. Oh, that's a good question. Um, love actually. I mean, I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> I used to get it. I love Thomas in it. Thomas Brody Sangster, of course, is a lovely part of it. Um, but I always just feel really sorry for everyone by the end of it. I, I don't find it inc that heartwarming. I just, I, it just breaks my heart that Emma Thompson gets cheated on and I can't get over it. And I don't like seeing her cry. And it's a very sad scene. So yeah, can't watch Emma Thompson cry. Oh, got a few. Um, the British actors are always fun because they're kind of, especially when you're in LA, you kind of bump into a British actor and they just want to get drunk and go to the pub because Americans don't really do that. Pierce Brosnan, I, we went out for his 60 something birthday in Australia when we were filming and everyone's really anxious. They were like, oh, we're going out with James Bond, like we should be really well behaved. And he ended up just wanting to have a rager and it was so much fun. We went bar hopping and he ordered martinis just to see like the waitresses blush. And, and it, we just end up having a really random drunken night out with James Bond and it was very cool. So in Brazilian culture, at least in my family, um, we actually celebrate Christmas on Christmas Eve. So we have a big dinner at about, it's supposed to be at about 8 p.m., usually ends up being at 10.30 p.m. Um, and uh, we open the presents at midnight. Um, but mum had this tradition of always inviting uh, kind of anyone in London who was Brazilian who didn't have family or couldn't go home for the holidays would come to ours. So we'd always have these kind of random, crazy, wonderful Brazilians that we'd never see again, but they'd all be at the house for Christmas. So I started kind of doing that, inviting people that, you know, I'd met that haven't got families to go to and they can just come over here and have a bit of a Christmas party. We also, um, a few of us from Skins, we still meet up every year and have a friends mess dinner. Um, that we are trying to organise on the group chat today. Um, and yeah, that's kind of my favourite part of Christmas is when we do that. We've all got kids now and our kids all play with each other and, and yeah, we're all very, very close still. I don't know if anyone wants to see 30 year old Skins cast, do they? Um, I don't know. I mean, I think it was such a, an of its time thing. Um, it was right before social media and, you know, it was so unique to a certain generation that grew up in the UK. Um, and I think that story would just be really different now because of social media and because of, it's just a different generation. Um, it wouldn't have had the kind of impact and the uniqueness that it had at the time. Oh, um, but I'm actually really shy and quite socially awkward. Um, and I find social situations terrifying, but I've really kind of learned to how to get through it. I've had horrible anxiety since I was on Skins and I didn't know what it was back then. I don't think the word anxiety existed. Um, and it's something that I've kind of really felt a lot more open about now and, and able to talk about and able to manage. Um, and I wish I'd known more about it at the time. I think I would have been able to deal with that time of my life a lot better. Um, but yeah, now it's something that I'm really open about and, and kind of learning to live with. Um, definitely not Emma because I'd be terrified if someone invited me to a party on a train. Um, I wouldn't go, but she, she was all for it. Um, I, I guess I really loved playing Teresa in Maze Runner because I felt like she was such a badass and she was so 
brave in believing in what she thought was right, even if that wasn't what the group around her believed. And and I think I'm kind of, I like that about her a lot. And, and I liked her strength and her determination. And I think I relate to that quite a lot. I don't get chatted up. I have never been chatted up, ever. Like genuinely, I've never had anyone come up to me in a bar. I've never, like, no, it's never happened. I wouldn't know what to do. Um, so like, I, I don't even know what a chat line is. I come, you know, my friends are on the dating apps and stuff and I hear some of those stories and I think well, that sounds terrifying. Um, no, I, I don't know any, I've never been chatted up. Someone please chat me up. It's not gonna lead anywhere, but it would be nice. <laughs> so at the moment I'm working on a TV show for Netflix called The Gentleman, which is based on the movie, within the world of the movie and Guy Ritchie's decorate, uh, directing the first two episodes. Um, and I play a really, really fun, big character. And I've never kind of got to do that before. She's a Cockney girl and she's in charge of all the boys. Um, and she runs business. She's not necessarily a good person, which is kind of quite fun to play. Um, and her outfits are amazing. It's kind of the best fashion wardrobe I've ever had for a character. Um, so I'm really kind of excited for people to get to meet her. Thanks for watching Catch This Is Christmas on Sky Cinema and now.